weeks back, I asked the Minister if he planned to ensure greater oversight of the temporary foreign workers program in the oil sands. Canadian iron workers are being laid off and replaced by temporary foreign workers. The Minister claimed every single laid off Canadian was immediately re-employed. But according to the iron workers, that wasn't true. And they've asked the Minister to step up oversight and enforcement. He said he would, in quotes, throw the book at non-compliant employers. So, Mr. Speaker, what action has the Minister taken against Husky or Imperial Oil? The Honourable Minister of Employment. Oh, Mr. Speaker, uh, there is an ongoing investigation uh, into those particular allegations. I know this is a, a peculiar concept for the ND, NDP, but under natural justice, you are presumed innocent until proven guilty. Um, and we don't sanction uh, anyone in, unless and until a fair process is determined that they've uh, violated the rules. If they have violated the rules, they would be blacklisted, Mr. Speaker, unable to use the program in the future. If employers lie, on their applications to bring in temporary foreign workers. They may, have, they may commit fraud, which is a criminal offence under the Immigration Act, punishable with up to five years in jail or $100,000 in fines.